Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get right into your reading Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remainder of the month and beginning of September in regards to love and romance. So we're starting off here with the Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Wheel of the Year, Chariot card, Eight of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Now your partner or person of interest has the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, Death card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Empress card here. Okay. All right, Aries. I see you guys walking towards a new beginning, a new chapter. Um, I do want to mention, I want to say the first to the second week of September is going to be very prominent for you, Aries. Um, this could be having a clear thought idea. This can also represent having an aha moment or realizing exactly what it is that you want in regards to this connection and deciding to move forward, no longer holding back. I'm hearing that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be overcoming a lot of fears. This could be fears of insecurities. This could be uh, trigger points that perhaps in the past you've been carrying from previous relationships. But I see you guys really taking that leap, really uh, surrendering to the changes, to the impulses, to the pushes that the universe is bringing to you. The Ace of uh, Swords can also represent clear and concise communication. With the Wheel of the Year, the wheel is turning and it's turning in your favor with the Chariot card here. There is success. There is uh, deciding, like I said, I see a lot of momentum here. So for some of you guys, there's been a situation in regards to love and romance where for some of you guys, perhaps you've been debating, debating in between love um, and friendship. I'm seeing the roses right here stand out very, very intensely for me, uh, which is representing choices. Um, and because of red, passion, desire, lust, and white is purity. It is um, uh, crystallized, transparent, genuine intentions. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where perhaps you've had interest or you've been emotionally invested in a particular individual where perhaps there was a bit of holding back. There was a bit of resistance for some of you guys, maybe not wanting uh, to cross that threshold of, uh, you know, moving from friends to a partner or a romantic partner um, because there were restrictions or fears that if things didn't progress, you know, am I going to lose my friend? Um, that type of energy. Whereas for others of you, there has just been almost a, a feeling of lack of confidence in yourself. It's This could be because the way you're viewing this person with the chariot and the eight of pentacles, you see this person as very direct, very honest, very straightforward. This is a person that can come off a bit strong uh, or strong headed. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, an individual that stands on their own. This is a person that is uh, very much into work or finances. This is a person that makes way for themselves. And it, there was almost like things could have been progressing rather good. And all of a sudden it came to a halt or to a stop. Um, and I feel that for some of you guys, it could have got you uh, a bit riled up in regards to self-reflection. Um, so if there's any insecurities that you're currently working through, Aries, I feel that you're overcoming them in the month of September. Now, in regards to how the person is viewing the situation, there's the Nine of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles and the Death card. I feel that perhaps they weren't as in it or as committed or um, the halt came because they came to a realization that they still have some type of healing or perhaps dealing with someone from the past that they were just not ready to let go of. Could be that they were emotionally closed off. However, with the death card here and the justice card, I feel that um, for some of them, the reason why they were holding on to some type of relationship or some type of partnership was because there was a feeling of not wanting to give up, 
could have been because they wanted some form of vindication or to feel validated. And I feel that they're getting their closure this month um, that is coming, which is in September. Um, there is an ending, a conclusion to something that they had been holding on to very tightly. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles is fully embracing their singlehood or fully embracing this new beginning, this new chapter in their life. With the Justice card, you know, justice being restored or them being able to finally balance um, their life. For some of them, it could be that they are 100% committed to their career, to their finances. For others, it could just represent that they were just emotionally closed off and hadn't moved on. Uh, from a previous relationship, but I do see them being able to embrace a new beginning. With the Nine of Pentacles and Justice card, it does indicate, again, embracing their singlehood, um, but this can also represent uh, them realizing that they're ready, that they are emotionally being open to love again. With the Empress card here, obviously, this is the love energy. This is them knowing and understanding that um, almost acknowledging that they deserve to be loved and that they deserve to be happy could be uh, for some of you guys dealing with the person that has lost a partner um, could have been a situation where there was some type of commitment and the person um, or their partner could have had an untimely death or they ascended um, and I don't feel like it's anything recent it could be a person that just it's taken them quite a while to be able to get through that mourning process. And I see them feeling more comfortable, more in their own skin and fully being ready to embrace new love. So again, um, what I would encourage you guys to do is uh, to definitely move forward, to not hold back based on insecurities, Aries, um, whatever those insecurities may be. I feel that September is going to be almost a um, momentum of uh, taking it to the next level when it comes to your self-validation, um, accepting yourself or knowing um, that you're ready, that you're wanting some type of higher elevation of commitment and fully embracing this. So very beautiful energy, Aries. I hope that this gives you guys insight and understanding. I will see each other soon. Till then, bye.